Hi guys, welcome back. It looks like we're within our eight hour limit for drinking, but we can have some nice good old British tea. And I hope we're going to get some biscuits with that so we can do a bit of dunking. Alright, so not only are uh, the Kilrafi have traitors in their midst, but it looks like we have two. That can't be good for the config, can it? Why would they want to go to the Kilrafi and enslave the humans? Not only that, it's going to be a large network of them. The Society of Mandarins. Well, I'm sure we'll be hearing of them in the future, won't we? Yeah, spot on ice man. Alright, back to business guys. Down to the wire. Alright, so we need to make sure we do well on this mission, otherwise it could be that we lose for Raka. So it's got a mini jump into a uh, asteroid field, is it? Or oh, maybe the navcom will update to a new uh, nav coordinates where it might be jumping to. Uh, we'll soon see you then. Right, let's go take care of this uh, Dorkia transport. Alright, so no transport here, but a nice wing of uh, selfie waiting for us. So perhaps the jumping transport's going to jump in shortly. So I need to take care of this very quickly. So if you do comment in the videos guys, there's one thing I would mind asking is uh, do you enjoy seeing the full fight sequence of these video games? Or do you think they drag on a bit too much? Are you just interested in seeing them explore or just do you prefer to see the highlighted moments? Comment subscribe below, let me know. And don't forget to give me a thumbs up as well if you enjoy these videos. I think the developers missed a trick here where they could have put us against some more uh, kill Rafi aces since we uh, killed them all in the first Wing Commander. Would have been nice to come across a few more aces, considering there's many battle groups in the area of the kill Rafi, rather than just having the Drakai. And uh, we've got a new wing. I think we've got uh, more selfie. I think too many selfies spoil the broth in this regard. Just go for the ones at the back so I'm not getting hit in the face by that barrage of laser fire. Might be weak, but uh, there's a lot of them. Damage shows, I know. And 
circle and pop the, uh, the missiles to keep firing off. Might hit one of them, one of the heat seekers. At least uh, lose its lock on me. Choose a new target. Scratch one kitty. Three more to go. Alright, so it doesn't like as a transport, eh? Yeah? And there we go, there's a transport. So rather than giving it an opportunity to jump out, we'll just head straight for it. Get a nice lock on it and take it out as soon as we can. So we don't have to go chase it later. Or even lose it. Might as well get rid of the heat seeking missiles. The others we can lock off without having to be on the tail. Not easy though, avoiding them all. Considering the heat seekers, you'd expect them to quite easily lose track and eat these drowsies. But such was not my luck. Oh, and we've got another transport just jumped in. So hopefully it won't be jumping out. I'll jump in out anytime soon since he just jumps in. But either way, we'll take care of it. Just in case. You never know, it might mini jump. So I was a lot closer than I thought then. Save our missiles, no point wasting on this one.
easily taken out. So we just need to go through to Nav 2, get through these asteroids, and then we can just head on home. But, uh, it's not simple as that, is it? There has to be enemy hiding there. Alright, so we've got some more Harris available. Good time to be using our missiles, what we've got left. These are going to be the last enemies to engage. Just make sure we don't crash into any asteroid fields. Looks like he's running off. Oh, the point after going for in an asteroid field. And with that, it looks like he's running off as well. I guess these kitties don't want to play. So we'll just have to uh, make our way out of this asteroid field. Alright, good to be back at the claw now. And it looks like we did better than uh, the other wings out there. They uh, let the team down a bit, didn't they? Mission, but I did get a blue star out of it, so I can't complain too much. And it looks like we're going back into the Drophy Mark IIs again as well for the next mission. And finally, we get a cutscene down in Fereka. So, one of the Ferrekan people there hiding in the shadows, and we've got the uh, Kilrafi priestess and the guards there. So we vaporised the priestess, but uh, unfortunately, yeah, we have a terrible cost to pay. 